You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. All right, there's something going on over there in the Vatican, over yonder in Rome. Yeah, since Bergoglio uh, replaced Pope Benedict XVI in an unprecedented changing of the guards of the popes. Well, I got two popes yet alive. I don't know what, Saint, what Benedict is now, but anyway, the matter br- dropped this weekend after several uh, councils, I think both in England and in France, decided that they wanted to change the Lord's Prayer. It wasn't really the Pope that did The Pope agreed with it. Maybe he inspired it through some of his cardinals over yonder in Europe. But here, no, they're changing the Lord's Prayer. This guy, Bergoglio, right, he said, well, the Lord's Prayer, I think it's misleading. And we need to straighten it out. I'll read, I'll read it for you. Here, here, right? It says, uh, Pope Francis approves changes to words of Lord's Prayer, report says. Get ready for a few stumbles as Christmas Mass, at Christmas Mass during, our, during the Our Father Prayer. Pope Francis reportedly approved changes uh, to the wording. Yeah, so Pope Francis reportedly approved changes to the wording of the Lord's Prayer, known as the Our Father, Our Father Prayer. Instead of saying, lead us not into temptation, Catholics will say, don't let us fall into temptation, right? And that's the new wording, right? So everybody got changed, and I guess everybody been saying for the last 2,000 years, lead us not into temptation. But that's what Jesus said. But Pope has said, well, you know, Jesus said it, but, well, you know, we got to change it. Maybe there's something in the, when the English changed from Aramaic to English or whatever it is, it got messed up. That's dangerous. It's very dangerous, Bergoglio. Uh, first of all, and it's heresy and blasphemy as well. But no, they're gonna, they haven't all they changed either. I think they changed something. Francis also reportedly approved changes to the Gloria from peace on earth to people of goodwill, to peace on earth to people beloved of God. So there are two changes now in scriptures that Pope has done. So, uh, you know, but I can tell you right there as you get into the Bible, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Jesus said in Matthew, the Bible, Matthew writes in Matthew chapter four, I'm gonna show you something in a few moments. Okay, I get my Bible verses here. Here's what, here's what the Bible says. The Bible says in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 4, right? The Holy Ghost is writing this, right? Not this Bergoglio guy. Then it says, then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness. By Spirit, I mean the Spirit of God to be tempted of the devil. Now we get the word led. We get the word uh, God leading him to be tempted of the devil. So when Jesus prayed, lead us not into temptation, and the the Lord's prayer in in Matthew 6, Pope Bergoglio said, no, we're going to change that. He's going to say, don't let us us fall into temptation. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Don't fall into, what does that mean? I'm not sure what, I know being led into temptation, I know what that's all about, you know. But I, I mean, so he's, cha- he's actually changing the prayer. He's changing Jesus' prayer. It's what he's doing. So, you know, I, here's what's going on. They've been doing a whole lot of finagling with the Bible, and there's a whole lot of stuff going on out there right now. But it really doesn't matter because the church is ineffective anyway. Uh, the church age has closed. So the fact that they're changing things around to suit them uh, it, it's not a big surprise. The church age is closed, everybody. I've been trying to tell everybody that for some time. But the Pope has gone ahead now and said, well, we're going to, you know, we're not going to be saying lead us not into temptation. But that's what Jesus, you know, you're led into temptation and you are, you, you are tempted by the devil. And, and there are many times the Lord allows us to be tempted to see exactly how we're going to respond to things. He allows that. So to say it, let us not fall into temptation. I think, anyway, I spent a lot of time on that, but I thought it'd be very important that 
the words of Jesus are now being changed by Bergoglio, but that ain't all. That I think far worse than that is what we have going on now with the LGBTQ community that is saying you can, you can wipe out the entire Old Testament that is irrelevant, not just a couple of words here and there as Pope is doing. You can wipe, 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 wipe out the entire Old Testament. All right, so that's, that's an, an, an enough of that. The Catholics, they, they've long since been written off by God. I don't know why anybody going to Catholic church. I don't know why anybody even, Catholic is not a, it has nothing to do with God, it has everything to do with rituals. Um, and, you know, they have, been, they have been fooling around. That's why Martin Luther took the people out of the Catholic church years ago. They're fooling around there with them indulgences and stealing money and ripping people off. By the way, you know, I've been over that Vatican a couple of times. It's a museum, if you ask me. And they got a whole lot of stuff. They got a whole lot of, you know, they're now saying that the Catholic Church has information about extraterrestrial beings locked away down there, way, way up under the, the Vatican, you know, they got all that information locked away. Uh, I don't believe it, but I think that, you know, since Galileo looked up there and said that the earth does not uh, go around, the, the sun does not go around the earth, the earth goes around the sun, and they, they threw Galileo, he was, a, he, was, he, was, he was a Catholic, they threw him out of the church, Galileo, right? He was an Italian boy. And he had this astronomer thing, he looked out there one day and he saw the, wait a minute, he looked at the stars and looked at the, you know, did the mathematical thing and watched all the other stars and everything and figured out, wait a minute here, they got this wrong. The sun does not revolve around the earth. The earth revolves around the sun. They threw that boy out of the church. Just recently, about 10, 15 years ago, they finally said, okay, we were wrong for throwing Galileo out of the church for saying that, uh, you know, uh, the sun revolves around the, uh, the earth revolves around, the sun revolves around the earth. It, so the, the thing of it is, is that it, it's, it's, it, it really isn't all that important anymore uh, because it, 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 so what? I mean, it's wrong. I would never... I would never change God's word. I would never do that. And I ain't going to say what the Pope said. I'm going to keep on saying, lead us not into temptation. I'm going to keep on saying that. But it really doesn't matter anyway, because anyway, the, 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 the church has long since been, uh, it, it, uh, uh, the, the age of the church has closed. That is to say, that is not the instrument of God anymore. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the Word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.